Hello, I'm Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's video, I'm going to give you a beginner's guide to using the path tool, which can be fantastic when working with product photography. So let's get started. So open up your image that you want to create a path for, and I'm going to click on the path tool here. The shortcut is P, or you can click on the tool there. And we're going to make sure that your paths panel is open. So if you come to window, just make sure that paths is ticked. And in this region, the paths panel will open. And first off, if we start to draw a path, you'll notice in the paths panel that we have a work path. Now, I always make sure that it's selected as path one. So you can either select that, drag it into the new path or you can actually double click. It'll come up with save path and then you can click OK for path one. What happens if you don't do that is you can start drawing a path and then if you actually forget to save it or to select it as a path one, what will happen is once you create another path it will overwrite that because it's essentially a temporary working path so always make sure that if you do want to save that path you just drag that to the bottom or you double click and save it as path one so that's the first little step that we need to address on that one so I'm going to add my path so I'm going to come down here make sure that it's path one I'm going to zoom in using command one to zoom into 100% and then use command plus just to zoom in a little bit further. Make sure you've got your pen tool selected. I'm going to place points on here to essentially draw around the product. Now this section here is slightly curved so what you can do here is you can add your point and whilst you've still got your cursor pressed down drag the point up and it will create a curved line, curved path. Again, use Command Plus to zoom in and use a space bar to move your canvas around. Again, that's got a curvature, so you click and hold and drag. So on this bit, I'm gonna add my point there. my point there and just drag hold the point there drag and it will add the curved path so here I'm going to add there like that so it creates a really nice smooth path around your object now this can work really really great if you want to add a product to a different colour background than you'd shot on. So this has been shot on a white background and you might want to use a black background or a red background or a gradient or a pattern or anything really. So pathing around an object is really great if you want a proper smooth edge rather than using the magic wand tool or the selection tool. So again to go around a curved area I'm going to plot a point there and I'm literally going to drag that up another thing to point out when pathing around a product is just go in a little bit from the product as you can see here um, just so that when you do add it onto a different color background it's not going to have like the fringing from the original background so this particular product is going to have some kind of white fringing around the outside so if you path slightly into the product you shouldn't have that so i'm just quickly going around this so again plotting my point and dragging plot the point drag and 
If you do make a mistake and you do need to go back, you can hit Command Z or Control Z if you're on a PC. If you do make a mistake, or you can just go and click here in the history panel and click delete. If you don't have history panel, come to window and click on history. I'm just doing this very quickly to show you. Again, place the point and drag. Now when you're pathing around your product, if you at any point forget to do like a curved path with the anchor points there, what you can do is you can come to the pen tool, hold down the pen tool and you'll get these options. And if you click on convert point tool, it will actually give you a curved point with the anchor points, which is great. So you can just move that around to where you want it. And if you use the arrow tool here, which is the direct selection path tool, you can just move that point and then you can come back to your pen tool, click on that again and continue on with your path. So I'll just put a point there and show you again, convert, convert point tool, click and drag and then come back to the pen tool. Click the point and add your points again. I'll just show you that one more time. Convert point tool, drag, come back to your pen tool, click on that point. So when you finally get to the end of your selection, I've got my end, I've got my start and end points here. And when you hover over the start point, you'll see this little circle next to the pen tool. And if we click onto the start point, you'll see it's actually closed the path. So that means it's a full selection now. I'm just gonna zoom out using Command Zero or Control Zero if you're on a PC. And if we click on the path selection tool, make sure your path selected and just select your path. You'll be able to see all the points that we've created around the product there. And I'm actually going to hit command and then press on the selection, which will create a selection around your image. I'm going to use the mask tool, which will add a mask and it'll be on a transparent background like that. And I'm just going to fill with, let's say, red. So it's Alt and Backspace. And I'm going to put that underneath the selection. And as you can see, it's on a different color background. You might want a black background or a blue background. You can literally choose any background you wish. And there we have it. That's a beginner's guide to using the path tool. I will be doing videos in the future on the path tool, so stay tuned for those. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. Don't forget to check out tipsgrill.com for the latest Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram at PhotoshopFran and on Twitter at PhotoshopPro. I'm now on Facebook as well, so don't forget to check out the group. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week.